Welcome back guys, it's Squawker Dave here on Full Time Devils and it's that time again, it's the three point review and today we're talking about Leicester City versus Manchester United. Well, let's get to it. On to point number one. Chris Smalling is Manchester United's Player of the Year so far. Again, a top performance against Leicester City by Chris Smalling. It was absolutely fantastic. Two moments in the game showed his real maturity as a centre-back. One was against Jamie Vardy, where Vardy had got clean down the line. Smalling was absolutely brilliant at defending the space. Tracked him for pace. Obviously, Vardy is one of the quickest players in the Premier League. But what Smalling did, he stayed on his inside channel. When Vardy got towards the penalty area, got himself in that space and, and attempted to block the cross. Obviously, Leicester City didn't score from that move. So for me, Chris Smalling, excellent defending there. Sort of like a young Paolo Maldini. And the second part, which I thought was pretty excellent from Chris Smalling, was against Jeff Slup. Slup bombing down that left wing. Smalling just sized him up, gobbled him up, got the ball back and ate him for breakfast. A brilliant performance from Smalling, summed up by his numbers, two tackles, three aerial duels won, nine clearances and 51 passes completed. Well done Chris, player of the year so far. On to number two, I think we found Chris Smalling's perfect partner in Paddy McNair. He's got all the components to be a real top class centre half, he's brilliant at bringing the ball out of the defence, only Michael Carrick and Daly Blind completed more passes than uh, McNair against Leicester City. And I think he's really improving in terms of his physicality. He won 40% of his tackles against Leicester City. A really good feat considering the likes of Riyad Mahrez, Jamie Vardy. These are players that you don't want to be stood up against. And that just shows his, his ability and his improvement. Also another thing, I think he's you know, bulked out physically. He's a lot more dominant than the air. Won four aerial duels against Leicester City. No player on the pitch managed more. So I think it's something that it's a continuous improvement. It's sort of like a, a Darren Fletcher where this player's come to the United youth team. Um, Van Aal sort of picks him out, a central midfielder, he's converting it into a centre-back and I think it's perfect. It's similar to sort of David Alba, you can see that sort of transition at Bayern Munich, how McNair was a central midfielder and now he's being pulled back to be a ball-playing defender. Just great to see, I, I love my, my young players and, and just keep, keep up the performance Paddy. On to number three, Riyad Mahrez has really got to be a realistic transfer for Manchester United in January. He's been absolutely fantastic in the Premier League this season. No midfielder has been directly involved in more goals than Mahrez this season. That's six assists and seven goals and he's won one penalty. So he's a real ta attacking contribution to this really fast Leicester City side and his link up play with Jamie Vardy at some points is absolutely brilliant to watch. I just think that he'd, he'd bring a lot of creativity into this United team. He, he stands players up, he takes them on. The Elastico that he did against, did against Paddy McNair was, was pretty ridiculous and arguably should have got an assist against Manchester United if Ajoa could have taken his chance. So Louis Van Al, sign that lad up, get him in, bring him in in January. Hopefully he won't get ripped off too much but whatever, just spend for it. Recruiting a player inside the Premier League, it's always easier to bring the players into the side. But anyway, I've been Squawker Dave. Thanks for watching. Check out Full Time Devils. Subscribe below. Also, if you've got any comments, if you think Mares should be a realistic transfer or Sadio Mene should be the major one or even Iron Robin, get it in below. Who do you think United should buy? And thank you. Morning, everybody. It's Stephen Elson. This is Full Time Devils and this is MUFC Daily. Got a few things coming up for you this morning and we're going to kick it off with the Manchester United UNICEF dinner last night.